Hello, my name is Layla, and on Instagram, I am the veganpreneur, and I have been really compelled to do this video, so I'm just going to do it right now. And what I want to share with you is why I no longer practice new age or spirituality, law of attraction, all that kind of stuff. Those of you that know my testimony a bit know that I used to be atheist. Probably around 2017, I was atheist. In 2018, I started my walk. And uh, really what convinced me about Christianity and convinced me that Jesus is who he says that he is, is because of the crucifixion. Um, once I did my research and learned that the resurrection really did happen, that I was just sold. And if you want to learn more about that, there is a book called Case for Christ. And I really recommend that you read that book or even watch the movie. It was an atheist and he went out to disprove the crucifixion and he couldn't disprove it. And then he became Christian. And the reason that I don't practice new age anymore, new ageism or call myself spiritual or any of that stuff is because I want, let me paint a picture like this. Okay. Let's say you went to an art gallery and you see the most beautiful painting and you're like, Oh my gosh, that painting is amazing. Look at the brush strokes and the paint strokes. And it looks like such an amazing painting. And then someone says, would you like to meet the creator, the painter, the one that put this on canvas that you love so much? And you're like, meh, no, I'm more interested in that, the paint. It's like, what? Like, this is a creator, the painter, the one who put this together, who created all of this. And you're looking at him like, meh, not interested. I'm just interested in the painting. That's what new ageism ended up for me once I realized everything. Um, it's like if you have a broken heart and you're like, oh, let me put this rose quartz on. It's like, okay, that's fine and dandy. I'm not saying don't use rose quartz, but what can really heal you? The creator, the one that created you, that created emotion, that created the heavens and the earth, that created the rose quartz, the energy source that actually created the rose quartz you're going to be like, meh, I'm not going to go to you for healing. I'm going to go to this little rock for healing. So when you think about that, if you really want to tap into the most powerful, I mean, the creator, the most powerful energy source that there is available to you that you can tap at any moment, that's going to be God. That's going to be Jesus. So why go to the painting when you can go to the painter?